Welcome to this installment in the Excite Pro tutorial series. One comparatively new search engine optimization technique that has proven effective with the major search engines is called siloing. In essence, siloing involves grouping your content into individual sections of just one topic. Having such concentrated keyword focus throughout a section of site content can really give your site a boost whenever someone searches on that specific keyword or phrase. Here's a site I created about dogs, specifically about their temperaments. I have dozens of pages with all the different breeds, which are classified by type. Hunting dogs, terriers, working dogs, etc. This is a perfect site for siloing, because when someone searches on companion dogs, for example, I've got a whole concentrated section of my site that caters to exactly that topic. So, let's just choose siloing from the other tab. Now, the first tab in this wizard checks to ensure that you really want to enable it. Siloing is powerful, and there's nothing sneaky or underhanded about it, but it's not for all sites. If you only have a few core pages, or if the content covers a wide variety of topics, siloing won't help you. But we'll check yes. Moving right along, the next question is what type of siloing you prefer. Directory siloing or virtual siloing? The former will physically split your content pages by folder, while the latter continues to put all pages in your root directory. There's a search indexing advantage to using directory siloing, so don't use virtual unless you have a very restrictive hosting structure that only lets you put content into a single directory. The next step is to choose the files you want to silo. The only limitation is that there has to be a parent page and some subpages. Note that you only have to check off the parent. The subpages are included automatically. Next, under Options, Excite Pro asks you how you want to name the folders that will be created. You can use the parent page's title, menu name, or file name. Obviously, this only applies if you're using directory siloing. When choosing your preferred option here, have a thought for which option will result in the best keyword-rich folder name. Moving on to our menu options, here we can choose which of our menus is going to be taken over by the special siloing menu for the siloed pages. For best results, the only link should be a backlink to your parent page, but if you want to, you may also opt to include all the pages at the same sublevel. Again, for best results, your siloed pages should not link to other unrelated page content. For example, here on the Newfoundland page, which is a working dog, you wouldn't want there to be any links to any of the companion dog pages. You can also choose here which other navigation menus will be visible on your siloed pages. Ideally, there should be none, but if you want to include a footer menu with only your contact info and privacy statement links, that's acceptable. The following step lets you choose the wording of the link back to your parent page, such as back, up one level, or you can use the parent page's actual file name or link text. On the third and final menu tab, you can choose whether links to other subpages at the same level will appear on each siloed page, and if so, whether to use their file name or menu text as the link name. You can also, of course, click here, and the only link on the page will be the one going back to your parent. The last tab of the wizard pertains to sitemaps. Please see the sitemaps tutorial if you have questions as to what sitemaps are and what they do. In terms of siloing, just know that Excite Pro can easily generate separate sitemaps for each individual silo in your site. You have options for displaying the name of each page in the silo-specific sitemap, as well as if and how you want the page's description to appear. When ready, just click Next one last time, and that's it. Your site is set up for siloing. Assuming you stuck with directory siloing, the siloed pages will be moved to their new directories the very next time you publish. Using siloing in Excite Pro, you can set up your directory structure in a way the search engines really like and without having to create or drag around any folders.